so students let us talk about lecture of today that is classification of electrotherapy as we have seen that electrotherapy doesn't mean only the use of current but we also use electrophysical agents or thermal agents in treatment of diseases with equipments that is called as electrotherapy electrotherapy is meant to be an important part of physiotherapy treatment although nowadays researches and many other things are joining their hands and people are switching to exclusive exercise therapy but you should not forget that electrotherapy has its own important role as far as treatment with physiotherapy is concerned as we learn electrotherapy we will learn uh, how this this is concerned and how it matters just to brief it up let me tell you that uh, many of the modalities that we will be learning during this uh, uh, electrotherapy classes have been worn out or have been uh, almost uh, given the name of uh, outdated modalities because of lack of evidence or because of lack of uh, the effectivity of those modalities the problem with research in electrotherapy effectivity of modalities of electrotherapy is that when you are giving electrotherapy you are not penetrating the skin you are giving something on the skin and then you are looking at the penetration of that particular treatment into the skin which is even more harder when you want to read about electrotherapy but thanks to the researchers who have proved the things wrong and they are saying that electrotherapy can be supported now uh, you will be referring most of the times you might be referring the clayton's electrotherapy now let me tell you i'll be teaching you uh, on the basis of uh, clayton's and law and read that is electrotherapy explained then uh, nelson and courier that is clinical electrotherapy then uh, sheila kitchen that is evidence based electrotherapy 13th edition of clayton's and then 14th edition of clayton's that is by tim watson and i'll be covering the concepts from all these things you need not purchase all these books you can just uh, learn through my lectures and you can read for reference purposes you can use your clayton's electrotherapy also and you can use your tim watson website also the website is electrotherapy.org the latest concepts and the latest researches in electrotherapy are being done and published by tim watson who is the editor of the 14th edition of clayton's electrotherapy we are still referring the 8th or 9th edition of clayton's electrotherapy so for the purpose of your exams and writing your exams that is good there are many indian authors also like nanda and uh, jagmohan you can refer any book you wish to that doesn't make any difference my job is to give you the basic structure of electrotherapy where you build it and how you build it is your outlook so i'm not going to break my heads with that right so let us move to classification of electrotherapy now the old classification of electrotherapy divided electrotherapy into three basic things one was low frequency then medium frequency and high frequency right this was the older concept rather the concept that you learn in your academics nowadays is this concept that we learn according to the low frequency medium frequency and high frequency currents low frequency currents are your faradic current galvanic current transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation they start from 0.1 millisecond to 100 milliseconds right so that is low frequency medium frequency are 2500 hertz and 4000 hertz and high frequency are electromagnetic radiation laser or ultrasound right so these are the three classifications that were previously used low frequency was used most probably for pain relief right because it is helpful in stimulating the nerves and the muscles right so functional electrical stimulation transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or neuromuscular electrical stimulation were part of low frequency currents medium frequency was introduced uh, in the middle era and out of that the interferential therapy is the most effective one that is being used even today 
we'll learn the details later on and then there are some Russian currents and some diadynamic currents which come into these frequencies and the high frequency definitely goes to shortwave diathermy, uh, ultrasound therapy, laser therapy and whatever else you can remember, uh, medium, uh, medium uh, MWD, microwave diathermy and whatever, whatever long wave diathermy, everything comes into high frequency currents, right? So this was the older classification of uh, electrotherapy. The late, latest classification uh, terms it into some something different. It is a little bit different than this. The modalities are same, but it is a little bit uh, different than what these are, right? So they term it into electrical, right? Then thermal and uh, non thermal right so now like you know uh, uh, as i said that the latest uh, researches are going on uh, under uh, tim watson so i am referring that book as the most state of the art book there are thousands of books you can refer but as i said you i'll be giving you a global information you can refer your local books for building upon the information, right, and preparing the answers. So, the latest uh, classification includes that uh, there can be electrical, thermal, and non-thermal classification, right? Electrical classic classification, when we talk about, we come for tense, your IFT, and then you go for iontophoresis, then you go for intermittent galvanic. Uh, Faradic stimulation, everything comes under this, right? The Russian currents, diadynamic currents and whatever else comes under this, right? The next is thermal and thermal is deep heating, superficial heating as well as uh, cold therapy, right? So cryotherapy and heat therapy. Heat therapy via short wave diathermy, infrared irradi uh, irradiation, your peripheral wax bath or your thermal ultrasound or XYZ, whatever you can remember, thermal laser, right? So all these things come under thermal and non-thermal are again non-thermal uh, ultrasound, pulse, electrowave, diathermy, pulse, ultrasound therapy, uh, all these come under non-thermal and cold laser, they come under the non-thermal treatments, right? So these are the two types of classification of electrotherapy that are prevailing right now, fine? Uh, as far as your exams and your question and answers are concerned, you should refer the book that is given. All those books that I named are given as reference books or as textbooks in your syllabus. You can check them out. These are state of the art books that are available. So even Jagmohan is there. You can even refer to Jagmohan's electrotherapy. You can refer to Nanda's electrotherapy and you can even refer to our uh, this also right so rather than beating around the bushes uh, follow Clayton's that is a one of the standard book and if you want to get upgraded information you can switch to electrotherapy.org which is a website by Tim Watson and it has all the basic information related to this so for further reading you can go over there now electrotherapy when you have so much wide use of electrotherapy then why the modalities are getting outdated? That is one question that might have come to your mind. Nowadays, if you see any clinic, most of the clinics and most of the setups actually keep the patient busy with the use of electrotherapy. Still, the research says that electrotherapy is not much effective, right? So why is it so? It's not so that as individual modality is not effective. There are a lot of studies to support a group of modalities used for a particular condition and their effectivity has been proven, right? For example, a combination of two to three uh, modalities for tennis elbow or combination of two to three modalities for low back pain has been proven effective by so many studies. But individual researches do not support the uh, performance or they do not 100% say that this is effective. But that doesn't mean that we should not use electrotherapy. So please uh, get full interest in electrotherapy, read it completely and we will continue in the next lecture with some basic concepts of electrotherapy. Now here I am definitely not going to get very much deeper into the nerve muscle content or into the concept of um, 
here what do you say uh, what was it here basics of electrotherapy that is basics of uh, biomedical physics so i would uh, uh, expect that students could revise the basics of biomedical physics by themselves i will definitely give you a uh, information about what is it all about fine so see you in the next lecture with uh, electric therapy right or electrical currents in physiotherapy or electrical currents in electrotherapy right see you in the next class till then bye bye